Hi, I'm Sam High, the creator of FSXDB.com. FSXDB.com is uh, essentially uh, the complete game data from FSX. Uh, I put a web interface on top of it after ex building the database. Uh, what's new is menus now will drop down on hover. You no longer have to click them. A little more convenient. Uh, we've added the new popular airports. If you're a registered member, we record your uh, hits to the airports, and we have a count. And this will show you the most popular visited airports in FSX. I default to the top 10. You can come over here and take a look at your map. And I also plot them here. You can hover over the airports. And as always, you can zoom in and zoom out. It shows you the number of visits. You can go to the airport. Uh, you can change the number appearing in the list by changing the slider here. And you will have more on your map. So basically, uh, also new is anywhere you see these, now all tables can be sorted. So you can sort these tables up and down. Uh, so wherever you see these icons, uh, the table is sortable. So that's new. Uh, we have a new surface type list. List out all the surface types. And uh, you can sort this list as well. It shows you the count of airports within that surface type. Uh, let's see what else we have. We now have uh, live chat if you're interested. There's a little chat app if you want to use it. Uh, more importantly is news and feedback. If you have any suggestions, I prefer that you enter them here. People can comment on, on here, down here and I can also uh, add my comments and let you know if I can implement that. So I appreciate you put any uh, site suggestions and bugs and things you find in this form here, news. I pretty much just um, list out new features as I'm adding them and uh, that's what I use that for. Please keep all posts related to FSX or my site. Thank you. Uh, we also now have uh, the search in the menu bar, nav bar, and you can switch where you're searching by hitting that. Uh, let's do KMD. Um, this will list out our airports as always. We also, you can now uh, specify how many records per page shows. Uh, you can now search uh, specifically in the airport name or ICO before it was looking in both these fields here. Prior, it was looking in the ICO and name when you did a search. Uh, another interesting feature is if you type an exact match, there's no sense in me returning a table with a single row. You will go right to the detail page. This has also changed. These sections are now collapsible, give you a little more room. We've organized, I've organized all the data into tabs, radios, ILSs, VORs, nav, parking. You now have a panda zoom option, so if you would click on a gate, you can zoom in. I like to go a little further in on gates, but any list is clickable. Uh, your NDB, so this controls the zoom when you click on the rows here. If it has a longitude and latitude, you can click on it. Again, we have sortable lists. This sets the zoom level for when you're panning around the map. We can collapse this, expand this. We still have the nearby. It's it's also organized into uh, tabs. So if you'd like to go to other ILSs, you can do that. VORs, same thing. As always, hovering over, you can get more detail of the nav aid. I believe I've covered everything. Oh, uh, re uh, please register. Registered users uh, get um, some new features. Let me show you those. Uh, if you're registered, you now have a history of all airports you visited and the count. And you have your map. These are just your airports that you have visited. Uh, you also have saved searches. Whenever you perform a search, we will save your search and you can go back to it. So they're listed here with the criteria that you use. You can click them to rerun the search.